Why hello everybody! Here we go with a great tutorial because guess what guys? I did a thing. A cool thing. A really really cool thing. Uh, I made this by accident. Well, kind of by accident. But anyway, story time. I needed a flower farm. I kind of knew the basics of how they worked. I knew that you had pistons on both sides and you pushed them back and forth and bone mealed somewhere. That's all I knew. So I went into my creative testing world, made one, and this is what I came up with. I was like, oh, this is really nice. And the ones I've seen like on the Hermitcraft server, they were fast, but I think they slowed them down or something like that. I'm not really sure what their design is, honestly, but it was faster. So I, it triggered my mind to go look on YouTube and I went through like the first 12 like top flower farms out there and they were completely different than this completely different being expensive and slow so let's get into it guys I'm, I bet you guys are dying to know what what this is all about so it has a lot of particle updates so it's gonna look laggy but it does run that's the thing um, it's not la or like freezing your computer. It is still working, and that was probably louder than heck for you. Um, I will try to reduce that for you in the video, because that was loud for me. So let's go and take a look. So just for a few seconds of running, that's what we get, which is quite, you know, I'm not going to complain with that. That's a few seconds of running. Imagine running this for like two, three minutes. Yeah, you'll be golden. So let's get right into the tutorial, guys. And everything that you'll need is right here. So first off, you're gonna need some. You're gonna need 18 pistons, one sticky piston, one observer, eight repeaters, one lever, two dispensers, 81 grass blocks, 26 building blocks. So any solid block, concrete, dirt, cobblestone, whatever it may be, 41 redstone, and a ton of bone meal. So you're gonna either want to hunt a lot for some skeletons. Or you're gonna want a skeleton farm. I recommend the skeleton farm just because it's easier but we all don't have those kind of luxuries. So let's get into this. I'm gonna just go ahead pick up pretty much everything we'll need. So first off this is a 9 by 12 area. So we're gonna start off right here in the corner. We're gonna go up three blocks and this third one here is gonna be where our piston lies. These are regular regular pistons and we're gonna go over by nine so we got four five six seven eight and nine you're gonna do the same thing on the other side but I'm gonna make this kind of good for a cut so we're gonna take grass blocks and go one two three four five six seven eight nine you're gonna fill in this entire area all the way over to here it's gonna be a nine by nine area and on this side right here we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing with pistons so you're gonna have a one space gap in between your dirt square and your piston. All right, guys. So once you get to here, you'll you'll know that this is grass. It has to be grass. You can't grow, you know, flowers and whatnot on dirt. So if you don't know the trick how to move grass, you all you have to do is make a little elevator up to the, your platform here. It'll eventually grow up and get up here if you don't have a silk touch tool. Next up, we need some solid blocks on the back of these pistons, and on top of them is going to go some redstone dust. I already did this on the other side to save us a little bit and you're going to come into the middle you're going to go over by five blocks so find your center which is right here one two three four five start on the side that does not have a gap and then go six as well uh, place two solid blocks with dispenser facing up on each come on down now we're going to get into some redstone we're going to place a repeater on dispenser number two dispenser number one and we're gonna go ahead and make our clock now facing the direction that you're gonna have your input so the place that you want your lever to be like to turn on and off the farm is the way you have to start this clock so I'm gonna place the lever on this side this is where our lever is gonna go is on that side so the repeaters have to go there go ahead place two more if you want it at its fastest don't change the clock let's add in some redstone tie it in like that leave this block empty we're gonna go ahead put in our on off switch right now so solid block there sticky piston behind it 
and observer facing into said block. And this is pretty much going to push in our solid block here to complete the circuit. And when it does get pushed, this observer is going to recognize that that block moved, giving it a half tick pulse, starting this as fast as it can. Next up, we're going to just fill in that like so. And there, there's our on off switch. So you'll see, if we turn it on, we'll hear the, the clicking of each one. And it is important that these are on each side. So when the pulse is coming through here, on this half, we're powering that dispenser. When it's on this side, we're powering this dispenser. Because when it's on this side, it's going to power those pistons. It's on that side, it's going to power these pistons. So every time a piston pushes, it's bone mealing. And that way it's always breaking your flowers and grass. So you're always going to be getting flowers and seeds on every push and that's important so let's turn off that because that's horrible to listen to next up we're going to need a little chain that goes up so just a little staircase go ahead place a redstone we're going to need a repeater going hard powering this block go ahead connect it into the into the line we're going to go ahead and do the same thing on the exact other side and repeater running it in with some redstone dust and just like that that is it guys that's the whole farm super cheap super easy right so let's go ahead take a look let's grab some bone meal I'm just gonna put a little bit in on each side so we'll do like let's say nine each so it's gonna be nine pushes and this is honestly a reasonable amount uh, for if you're just going out at one night, you know, for hunting of some skeletons, that's six bones, right? Yeah, that's six bones, so it's not a lot, but it's a feasible amount that you can you can get because it's 18 bone meal. So, as you see, it's very loud. I'm sorry, I should have turned off my sounds, but see that we already went through the 18, so we can go ahead and turn it off. Let's see what we got just from that. You get quite a bit, and remember, we're not in a flower biome anymore. We're in a plains biome, and being in different biomes may give you different flowers, so just be aware of that. Over there is where I would want to be, just because you get different colors. But over here, we get some of the same. We get our, you know, our daisies, we get poppies, dandelions, and seeds, which you're going to probably want to throw away eventually, because there's only so many crops you can plant and so many chickens you can feed. But guys, that is it it's a really simple simple design and super cheap super fast very effective and i'm very happy with it guys and if you are too uh leave me a comment telling me that you liked it leave me a comment telling me you didn't and if you liked this kind of if you made it this far through the video go ahead and hit that subscribe button because you haven't left and you enjoy this content that way you can always be up to date always be there when i release I am trying very hard to get back into the motion of two videos a week. This is going to be the first week that, or the second week in a row that I did again. So, guys, stick around. We're getting there. We're at 116 subscribers. I'm so excited. I'm loving it. Loving every day of it. I'm loving seeing all your comments as well. And until next time, guys, have a great rest of your day. Bye.